Welcome back to Blackthorn Prod. My name is Noah and today we will once again dive headfirst into the world of 2D platformers by making a ladder system using Unity and C Sharp. Though not all platformers actually have these, ladders can be a fun way to navigate around the world and give the player some rest from continuously jumping. So let's actually make one. As usual, I've set up a very basic scene with a ladder, two platforms and a little white square that will act as our character. My platforms have a 2D box collider and my ladder also has one but set to trigger. My square player, on the other hand, also has a 2D bot collider as well as a 2D rigid body set to dynamic. Alright, with that said, I'll now create a new C -sharp script called player movement, add it to my player character and open it up. I want this script to get our player moving left and right, as well as be able to climb ladders. Of course, nothing will stop you after from adding a jump, sprint or other cool move to your player. Okay, I'll begin by making a public float variable called speed that will, as the name implies, dictate how fast our character can move left and right. I'll also make a private variable of type rigidbody2d called rb and grab a reference to that component in the star function. Lastly, I'll make two private float variables, one called input horizontal and the other input vertical. I'll use these to detect whether or not our player is holding down the arrow keys. Alright, in my fixed update method, which I remind you is used to manipulate all physics related aspects of your game, I will set input horizontal equal to input.getAxisRaw horizontal. Now when I hold down the right arrow, input horizontal will be equal to 1, and when I hold down the left arrow, it will be equal to minus 1. All I now need to do to get my character actually moving is type rb.velocity equals new vector2 and in the parentheses state input horizontal times speed for x and leave the rigid body as is for Y. Heading back into Unity, I'll type in some value for speed, hit play, and I'll gladly notice that my character is moving properly. Note that if you want a less snappy control feel, you can simply remove the raw word. Alright, let's now get down to the meat of the video. Get our character climbing this ladder. So what we're basically going to do is shoot out a ray from our character in the up direction. And if that ray collides with a ladder, then we will allow our character to use the up and down arrows to move vertically, as well as set our rigid body's gravity to zero, so our player won't just fall down. Of course, as soon as the ray doesn't collide anymore with a ladder, then the player will lose his vertical movement ability and gravity will be set back to a positive value. So in my script, I'll make a variable of type raycast2d called hit info and set that equal to physics2d.raycast and in the parentheses state a starting position for the ray, a direction and a length. I'll get my ray to start at the player's position and move upwards using vector2.up. For distance, instead of hard coding the value, I'll simply make a public float variable called distance and plug that in right there. Lastly, I can state a layer mask for my ray. So I'll make a public variable of type layer mask called what is ladder and copy paste that at the end of this already long line of code. Now we can control what objects our ray will detect using layers. So quickly heading back into Unity, I'll make a new layer called ladder and add it to my ladder game object. And selecting my player, I'll choose for what is ladder, the ladder layer only. With that done, I'll make an if statement checking whether or not our ray has actually collided with a ladder. If it has, then I'll make another if statement, this one checking if my player has pressed the up arrow. And if that statement also returns true, then the player has officially begun to climb the ladder. So let me make a bool variable called isClimbing and set that equal to true 
right here. Further down the script, I'll make yet again an if statement, checking if is climbing is equal to true. If it is, then we will let our player move vertically. So like I did for the horizontal movement, I'll set input vertical, this time equal to input dot is raw vertical, and then type rb dot velocity equals new vector to, and in the parentheses, keep the player's x position as is, but move the y position by typing input vertical multiplied with speed. Of course, you could make another float variable called, for example, climb speed, if you wanted your player moving slower or faster when climbing the ladder. Lastly, I'll set my rigid body's gravity scale equal to zero, so our player isn't pulled downwards. Awesome, our player can now climb the ladder, however we must also detect when he is off the ladder, so we can remove his vertical movement, and switch gravity back on. So if the ray doesn't collide with a ladder anymore, I'll set is climbing equal to false, and as a result, all this code will no longer run. Of course, if is climbing is equal to false, then let's set gravity scale back to some positive value, so our player falls to the ground. Back in Unity, I can now hit play and have some fun moving up and down my ladder. When I reach the top though, my player has nothing to land on, and the hit info ray will return false, because there is no more ladder to climb. As a result, our little square will just fall down. What you could do to fix this is make a new platform with the ladder layer, and add a platform effector 2D component to it. For a lot more info on that, Check out this small tutorial I did a few days ago. Or you could add an if statement, checking if the player also hits either the left or right arrow key, before setting is climbing equal to false. Of course, also make sure here that despite is climbing being equal to true, that the ray is also colliding with the ladder, or the player will be able to endlessly move upwards until he hits the right or left arrow key. And now we can comfortably move to the top of the ladder without falling down. Okay, that marks the end of this Unity tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and will be able to use this newly acquired knowledge to good use by covering your game with ladders. Alright, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons and make my day that much more awesome. And with that, I'll see you very soon with a bunch more in-depth game creation videos. Cheers! Cheers.